testicles. Testies. Spaghetti Western oh. testicles. Blue balls from McClanahan. Where'd you get that from? <laughs> so, welcome to another episode, episode 11 of 9 to 5 Nerds. Uh, today is just Corey and I, but it doesn't really matter because it is the season finale of Game of Thrones, and it was fucking awesome. Yeah. From beginning to end, nonstop, all the way through, kicking the balls. This is a kind of awkward because we're just staring at each other. I'm looking at your balls. Well, I said balls, but we're staring at each other while doing this, and we're not blinking. <laughs> so, what'd you think? You blinked. Uh, what I think of the season finale? Yeah. Awesome. Best finale. I can think of. The, it's one of the best episodes of television, period. I, I think it's best season finale because all around, every single plot line was awesome. Like, I mean, all of it. So, what happened? You had the notes. What yeah. happened first? Bring up a... No, I... Uh, oh, you don't, have, you don't have it? It's on It's on here. Oh, then no. Well, let's just recite. Okay, so it opened King's Landing. Everything that happened there? Yeah, it... Uh, the... S- slow opening... Yeah, but the music, the music was so good. The it, build up. It was out of nowhere. The music felt the whole episode. Killed it. Yeah. It, it, it built up the tensity. So. Let's just, well, what we'll do is we'll start at the beginning and we'll go like break down by breakdown what okay. happened. So, they'll get dressed. Funny. Uh, Pistel's murder. Yeah. I, kids? Like, I, I didn't think, like, I assumed. That had some implications that he may have been like a pedophile or something, but then well, it's, it's, the whole... it's just seeing that guy use kids for everything. But they seem like hardcore, like angry. Maybe he gave him something. He did bring somebody he, back from the dead. He gave him sweets. Yeah. Murder this old man. What were the sweets laced with? Well, when I, maybe when it's the only food that you were given. Yeah. I mean, they were poor. Yeah, I guess. Um, that was... He sleep bitch slapped some kid. Yeah. That was... Well, off. I mean, you're, you're you fight for your life. You don't care. And he's not an old man, so he stopped punching over and bitch slapped yeah. the kid real fast. Oh, uh, he got taken down. So the whole small council's gone. Yeah, well, okay, so the, what do you think of the trial? I, I mean, thought I... The, 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 what's his name? The Tyrell or the gay Tyrell kid? Yeah, uh, uh, Lauren, Lawrence? What, what, Loris. Loris. What a little wimp. You're like, if it, if it had not been blown up, I, I would have been like, man, you can't live... You can't he basically have been tortured every day for... His sister held up. Yeah. I, I legit, once I was like, oh shit, this is happening. Like when he went through that little, uh, when uh, Lannister, what's the guy that? Uh, Lancel. Lancel. When he went through the little tunnel, I was like, oh my god, they're going to the. Yeah. The, uh... We had an idea because we talked about it. Yeah. That it would happen. And in my head, I kept thinking, okay, let's see if we're right. It's getting closer. She's not showing up. She kept Tommen out of there. It's like, okay, it might happen. And then when you get down there, it's like, okay. It's happening. The only thing, what's the name, can't stop it if... There's like a 1% chance. I thought Marjorie was going to walk away. Me too. I thought, uh, like, out of all the name characters to die, if Marjorie walks away, she's a fan favorite, for yeah. one. And you'd think Cersei would still need, like, an enemy in the capital. And the fact that she didn't... Yeah. fucking... That blew and you saw the mind. look on uh, the... What is he? Head Sparrow? What was his name? The High Sparrow. The High Sparrow, yeah. Well, the look on his face when he kind of started to realize what was going to happen... You know what the most terrifying part of that, like, it's like a deep fear inside. Like when you hear like earthquake, you feel around, be like, oh shit, what's happening? Yeah. Before you realize, when they hear the explosions going off down below, and they have like a second and a half to realize they're fucking dead. Yeah. That's like the most terrifying thing. Yeah. It that was... you know it's coming. Yeah. And I think that was fucking badass. She uh, went. She went mad king. Yeah. And Tommen went out the window. Dude, that, that was, was... It was so good. It was so... He just nonchalantly yeah, put his crown down. That just, was, <laughs> the setup of that scene, just the open window the whole time, still camera frame, that was a crazy... There was no pause. There was no nothing. He knew what he was going to do. Yeah. He just went right out and... What do you think about it? His life has been fucked up. I mean, we have family die every once in a while and it's fucking crazy. He had his brother get murdered, his sister get murdered... Yeah. And his father got killed. His grandpa got murdered by his uncle. Yeah. Like, he's fucking been around death. And then his wife, her whole family got blown up. Yeah. And his idol, basically. basically yeah. Incl- he lost everything. Everything. So, it's like, well, fuck. Yeah, why not end it? And Cersei's going nuts. 
Uh, she didn't show it as much. She, I think she's feeling it. Yeah. But usually, like, when... She has nothing to care about anymore. When, when Joffrey died, she screamed. When Marcella died, she, you know, let it out. This time, she just... Yeah, like, let me see him. It's internal. Yeah. Do you think uh, Jamie's going to stay? I think there's going to be a clash between them. I think... Uh, she's queen now. She can do whatever she wants. But I think Jamie's too good nowadays. Yeah, to I don't me. think he's going to stay. I, I think he's going to do something. Is he... Is he gonna be the Queen Slayer? No. You I don't think he'll kill her? Was so there's the old prophecy that do you remember like two seasons ago they had the season opening was a flashback to You're gonna lose all your children? Didn't she say something? The yeah, witch. She, it was the witch in the She says, You will become queen, but and you all have children, but they will not be the kings. And they will all die before you, and your your, your like queenship will be taken by somebody more beautiful than you, and she'll cast you down. She always thought that was uh Marjorie. Marjorie. But it's going to be... Daenerys. Daenerys. If Daenerys or Tyrion don't kill the queen, I'd be disappointed. By the end of, like, you know, two seasons or so? Yeah. I think There's it should be... Two left. I think it should be Tyrion's right. Because... Kill her? Yeah. She, they, well, maybe not. I mean, he... Well, she... He gives the order to execute her? She, she's she been a major bitch from since he was born. If you listen yeah. to... What's his name story about her pinching his cock when he was a baby? <laughs> you remember? Yeah. Yeah. That was an awesome scene two seasons ago. You may have forgotten. We're after this season finale. Katrina and I decided we're gonna rewatch the entire show episode by episode. Yeah. Uh, how many? Okay, so we'll get next. I was gonna bring something up, but we haven't quite got there. So he's landing. Crazy. I want to say that I screamed out more in this episode than any TV. The the only thing I could compare it to was the first Walking Dead episode, because I got to see something that I love so much on screen, and I got to see Rick Grimes for the first time. But I, I screamed out so many times in this, oh shit, oh shit, yeah. oh shit! That explosion, anytime there's a green explosion, it looks badass. Yeah. The church bell landing on somebody. Mm -hmm. It's like, <laughs> special effects shots. They did a great job. Yeah. <laughs> so, and then, uh, for Jamie's part, you know, what he, uh... I loved him sh talking shit to, to, to Frey. Walter Frey, yeah. and... Phrase like we're both Kingslayers, and even his little chat with Bronn, classic Jamie and Bronn, love that. Bronn gets a lot of respect from everybody. Bronn's badass dude, doesn't yeah. fuck around. <laughs> and so here's a little bit of warping. Ira shows up. Oh my god. Ira. When she started talking and we and she went to put her hand up to her face, I'm like, oh my goodness, it's it. That was such a good scene. Because it came out. Of yeah. And I rewatched it the same night because Justin and Jamie watched it. Uh -huh. You know what's a big giveaway that it was actually her the whole time? Like, at least for that. I forget if she said it to Jamie or not. But do you remember season two, her being a cup boy, a cup bearer for Tywin Lannister? Yes, I do. That was a good yeah, it relationship. Was. And he chastised her. He said, I think you're like noble. You're, you're smarter than you let on. Because servants say, uh, yes, me lord, not my lord. My lord's proper, but servants say, yes, me lord. And she said, well, my mother taught me, taught me to speak proper, my lord. And every time she was addressing uh, Lord Frey, she said it like five times, like, your sons are here, my lord. And when upon saying it, I was like, holy shit, I wonder, I, 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 they had to have done it on purpose. Yeah, of course. And I was like, that's such a cool, like, little callback. At least, I don't know if anybody else thought about it, but. I was well like, done. Like, ten seconds ahead of time, they revealed it was her with that little... She said my lord like three times in that one interaction before yeah. she pulled her face off. And cutting it throughout, awesome. I wish we'd seen Black Walder and Lame Lothar go. Get their faces carved off? Yeah. Uh, I wonder how many people she killed. To... She's basically just a, a hardcore assassin at this point. Who, who's left on her list? Cersei? Well, okay, it was the Hound. But he wasn't on her list anymore. The Tickler, all that, but... The Hound killed two of them when they were together. Like, the but she doesn't hold any... About it. Yeah, the, she holds no animosity towards the Hound anymore. I think Cersei was on her list. Yeah. And but Jamie wasn't. No. and she, she, I mean, she was smiling at Jamie, although it was incognito. Yeah. But she let him go, yeah. in a way. Will she, she's not going to get to kill Cersei. Now she's a hardcore murderer. Like, well, I mean, but she's not murdering anybody that didn't... No, but you see the smile on her face? It was like, manacle. Like, mani you know, like a maniac. Yeah. You know. It wasn't, like, vengeance. She enjoyed it. Do you think at some point that she'll see Sansa and Jon again? <sighs> Sooner the better, but... If she's... A Sansa, she may not care about as much as they fought. They may be a sister, but she loved Jon. Yeah, they were close. Yeah. She gave her the... I wonder the sword. She, she didn't use needle to cut 
slash Walder's throat, I don't think. It looked I like don't a think dagger. So. It looked like a dagger. I wish it was needle, but, you know. I was going to say sting. Wrong. <laughs> yeah. Wrong. Wrong. Close enough. Story. So, Walder Frey. What, what was second? Dead at 98. <laughs> yeah. So there was, there was a Cersei, and then there was uh, Jamie with the phrase. Yeah. And what was the uh, third? Oh, Little okay. finger confessing his love to Sansa. Yeah. Oh, real quick. So between, I think that's all, basically everybody that died. Season one characters that have died this episode. Huge. Uh, Grandmaster Pycelle. Loras was in season one. Um, was Tonks in season one? Who? Uh, Osha. No, I mean this episode. Yeah. Oh, Just this, this episode. Uh, somebody else got... Oh, Lancel was in season one. Okay. And Walter Frey was in season one. And I'm sure there's somebody else, but I mean... Uh, Marjorie's in season two. That's a lot of fucking people. Yeah, all like like that, you know? Boom. Yeah, and they did it so... I think Tom and Jumping is one oh, of my favorite scenes. Kevin Lannister, her uncle. The, the queen blew up her own uncle. Yeah, well church. he was a dick to her. He, he seems... Okay, he, in... The book, he's, like, the most normal person. I mean, I assume... I translated that to the character on screen. He had, like, three lines. Yeah. Uh, but the fact Wait, that she... She wiped out the Tyrells. Yeah, and that, but that guy was in season one as well, so that's five. Season one character's basically blown up or her slit throat. Marjorie's grandma? What's her name? I guess the Black Walter and them. They were in season one, I guess. Maybe. Uh, who? What? Marjorie's grandmother? Yeah. What's her name? Oh, the Queen of Thorns. Lady Olivia or something. She... It, She's gonna fuck people oh, up, yeah. man. She, 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 like she said, she has no future to fight for. She's just gonna. You see, okay. Here's one thing: this uh, book TV differences, and on the show, everybody's family is like one or two kids, but in the, in the book, like it's just there's no birth control, and everybody has usually big families. So, yeah. the Tyrells, Loras was second or third son of theirs. They had Garland and somebody else, and. So I'm guessing in the show that does not exist. I mean, it seemed like they had two children, not four. Yeah. So, I mean, they, she still has a future, but for the show's sake, they're saying that. For the show's sake, she's the last one alive, which is... I was like, really? Okay. Gotcha. Well, I know they have to keep the show and the books a little different so people yeah, will actually they, they buy and read that the many last characters, one. Yeah, the last her, her, She's witty and awesome, even when her whole family got killed. Yeah. <laughs> that whole conversation with the same thing. Yeah. What's your name, Barbaro? <laughs> You put all those girls in their places. Yeah, you shut up. We don't talk to you. She's great. She's a, she's a scene stealer. And Barry's was there. And I, like, I bring you fire and blood. It's like, oh my god. So the the Martells. Daenerys has. Yeah. You know, there, there's a big animosity between the Martells and the Tyrells. It was it's like a blood feud for a thousand years. But they've squashed it. That's what it seems like. So it's them, the Dothraki, uh, the Ironborn. What are they? The the what are their names? If they have think? the Iron Fleet, but yeah, yeah they are the, the Iron Islanders. And then they got the Unsullied, the most disciplined army in the world. And when the time comes, uh, John's not going to have any animosity towards Daenerys or any of those people, you don't think. I, you hope that the characters you love aren't going to be turned against each other. But in theory, I mean, John likes Tyrion, so if he knows Tyrion with him, yeah. that's one thing. But they are trying to split off, again, it seems like, from the Seven Kingdoms. Yeah. Which, you know, if Stannis' is the idea, he don't want to split kingdom. So Daenerys... I love the White Wolf uh, moniker. Is that... Uh, yeah. And now what do you think they call him that? Jamie, this is what Jamie brought up before I left. The White Wolf because his because of snow. Cause, or not because of snow, because of... Uh, what was his wolf's name? Um, ghost. Ghost. Because of Ghost, I assume. I, I assume so as well. That he, was, he had a white ghost and he was whatever. Or the or is white he wolf. back from the dead? Now, where's Ghost? I don't know where Ghost is. Should Ghost have been in that battle? Probably, yeah. yeah. That's what I thought about. I was like, he, where is Ghost? You haven't seen him since uh, he woke up from the dead, and the, do or the wolf was sniffing him, basically. So or he's still at Castle Black. If he's not there, then they just wrote him out of the show for a, a bit because it was inconvenient. Yeah. Uh, or he could be a ghost because he's back from the dead. What? They, well, they brought him back from the dead, right? Well, he was dead. I don't know. I'm just John? throwing shit out there. Yeah. So you don't think Ghost would follow White him? White Wolf, Ghost. I don't know. I'm just... But, okay, and... So here's another thing Jamie brought up. She read this online, which is a book thing. Like, 150 years before this, there was a uh, civil war, basically, the Blackfire Rebellions between the trueborn son of the king and then the son of the king, a bastard son that the king liked better. And once he died, their family split. It's called the Blackfire Rebellions. 
But the bastard took the sigil, instead of a red dragon on black canvas, black dragon on red canvas. And I guess Jamie says, she read online that, I thought it was just for that one family that did that, that when a bastard takes up a sigil, they reverse, they reverse the colors. colors. And that it was a black direwolf on white. And now it might be a white direwolf on black. That's cool. So, I didn't actually see that in the show. And if it was there, that's awesome. What about finding out who John's parents are for... It's funny, they didn't say it all the way. They, they didn't. They went 95% of the way but there. But you, you, it's safe to assume You and point. I know what's up. Yeah. And I had captions on, so I heard her say, Robert will kill him or something. Yeah. But the second time I, heard, I watched it, I actually couldn't make out the words. He's, he was saying something about protecting him. And, yeah, she and, said, you know Robert will kill him. Yeah. So you know who his parents are. Now, I I haven't read that many of the books. I've only read two. Uh, when I was reading something that said when... Uh, Sansa was talking to Littlefinger in the an episode prior. She was saying that, uh, you know, how he said how many people had died because uh, Liza chose. Yeah, because she was chosen instead of she was but, chosen as a queen of. Now Phoebe. there is rumblings on the interweb that they were actually in love, right? That he didn't rape her. That they were yes together. And so the only things we know, I know about Rhaegar. Jamie has from I've I haven't read one book also. Jamie has a little flashback. He talked about how Rhaegar wanted to set things straight, but he had to go s- settle things with uh, his cousin Robert because they're actually far off cousins. Mm-hmm. That was and that was the last time Jamie seen him. But uh, from what who was that old guy who died with in Marine who was the King's Yard? Yeah, I know who you're talking about. He in the books or even in the show he was talking a little bit about Rhaegar. And, and how, how he, he loved to sing. and Yeah, but he was a bookworm for most of the childhood. He read a certain book that made him want to become a warrior. It's like he read a prophecy or something. And the Targaryens and everybody who's important in Game of Thrones have dreams about the future or other things, or direwolf dreams or green dreams. And so I'm assuming that he had some type of dream that something was going to happen. He, like he, married, he seemed like loyal. He was already married. But I think he, he, he knew some reason he had to hook up with Lyanna Stark. Don't know why. No character knows except Rhaegar, who's dead. Uh-huh. Maybe Lyanna. Maybe uh, the three-eyed raven now, Bran, can figure it out. But I think that was a, one of the mysteries, that what Rhaegar was trying to do. And I don't think... I think it was all willing, though. I think Lyanna... He's yeah. the most handsome guy in the kingdom. And I think she didn't like Robert that much. Robert loved her, but he was a drunk. Yeah, well, we all saw that. Yeah. So you, you basically find out who John's parents are. What about that uh, that scowl that Littlefinger was shooting them as they were pro- proclaiming him king of the north? Okay, well, backtrack two seconds. That little girl, okay. fucking I went, Mormont, is so fucking cool. I went from thinking she was a bitch to thinking she's awesome. She's my favorite new character in the show this season. She if there put was one. The, she, she's like eight, and she put those old men in their place. Yeah. And it was funny. I'm glad some of the houses weren't there. The ones that he fought against, the... Uh, the two biggest ones, the Umbers and the Carstocks, they're not there. Either they're all assumedly dead on the show, or their families are still in open rebellion against uh, Team Ramsey. Uh-huh. So it's interesting. But all the other lords were there. I'm like, that's cool. Little girl's awesome. And when she was saying her speech, it looked like Sansa was thinking she was talking about her. There's still one Stark left, and Sansa's smiling, kind of. And she said, even if he is a bastard, and her face just goes like very subtly. Like, sullen, like... Uh. I've, I've read already that, you know, there might be a... I think that's going to be the main a divide conflict, there. yeah. Littlefinger tugging Sansa's strings But do you really bit. think she's going to... Who has a better claim? A true-born girl or a bastard hero? There might not have to be that because they might end up finding out who his parents are. And then what does that do? All that has to happen is Bran to come back, fucking go ten feet, and then he's the lord... Yeah, it's true. I was saying, how far is he away from the wall? I, 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 when they zoomed out, I couldn't see if the wall's inside, but considering Uncle Benjamin said I can't go much further, yeah. he explained the runes in the wall, which they talked about in the books, magic. And, okay, now, here, I don't think, is this a loophole, but it's in the book, there must be some explanation. At one point in time, like book one, season one, Ghost finds a dead body hand, uh, you know, uh, what do they call it? Not the White Walkers, but the, the undead, the blue-eyed ones, uh-huh. zombie. And they bring a dead body back across the wall. It wakes up in the middle of the night and tries to kill the Lord Commander. Yeah. Jon Snow burns it alive. But it crossed the wall. But they tear it across the wall. So what are the limitations of the yeah. magical runes? Because, you know, like, when they couldn't, when they tried to go under that tree, uh, when they are chasing Bran... Yeah, they couldn't until they and touched And they, they exploded. 
So I was assuming that was protected the same way as the wall, which the zombie should have exploded. Yeah. But I don't know. Maybe it hadn't quite turned yet. Maybe it wasn't turned until after it came under the wall. But I was thinking loop or like um, what's I guess what do you call it? Not a loophole, but it breaks the rules of its own. The show, but the, I don't know. the world. Yeah. So uh, so we talked a little bit about. John, Littlefinger's obviously not happy. John doesn't even want to rule. I like that we know what Littlefinger's intentions are. Yeah. You assumed he wanted to be on the Iron Throne, but the fact that he he started out as the smallest lord you could be. He's never going to make it. No, but you think he's oh, going to be God, the, the big bad villain at the end? Maybe. Like, it's going to be between like him, Cersei, Daenerys, and, and somebody John. else. Yeah. What about... uh? What damn it? You just made for Sir Davos and the and Mela Melisande. Melisande. Well, Melisa, Melisandre. Sorry. Melisandre. Melisandre is the yeah. sidekick. That's too close. Uh, if we're to talk about Lady Stoneheart, which you know, who she yes, is, I think that Lady Melisandre leaving is a good sign that Lady Stoneheart might come into play. If now she realizes she awakened the dead and somehow they find Caitlin Caitlin Stark dead somewhere, it's kind of a that's a long it's a long shot, that's but a stretch. The to show the could do it. I thought it was going to be a long shot having freaking Barrett Dondarrion back. I'm, the Hound should have gotten ending this yeah, episode. Yeah, he didn't. He's the only part but that I wanted to see considering more Considering his last part in the last episode was so badass. Yeah. That him just murdering people. Like, yeah. I get two. That was tight. And we, we talked about the Battle of the Bastards. Fucking awesome. Yeah. Fucking killed it. Like, the battle was kind of... Some of the parts of the battle were kind of dumb, but... There was so much good in there. I uh, I read that uh, Kit Harrington actually punched uh, Ramsey twice while they were filming that in the face on accident. Really? Yeah. Well, he did probably deserve it. And they it. filmed this for something like ten hours. That's yeah, gonna be brutal. I mean, shit. That was, I, I love. There was so much to like about the second to last episode, but when when they when he's finally like, I'm reconsidering your hand to hand thing, and he shoots the bow and and. John just blocks it. John's being badass, just walking toward him, basically. Yeah, he. That's a fucking. I fucking tight. love Jon Snow. He is. Jon Snow is not the little girl he once was. No, like, Katrina jumped on that that boat real fast. She's liked him since season one. I, I, I've, I don't hate any character. He was a little girl at times, and you know he wouldn't kill a wildling. But man, when he stepped up and defended the wall, he became a different John. Yeah. He became Lord Commander and executed people. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad that Redbeard didn't die. I thought he was going to bite the dust there for a second. Yeah. And he, I'm, the, if the giant had to die, so be Dude, it. Dude, he fucking bit that guy in the neck. Yeah. Everyone kept saying, oh, why didn't give the giant a fucking weapon? He's using his hand. He, if he had a fucking... Tree? Anything. Yeah. Uh, it would have been over. But granted, that would have been the whole episode. Yeah. It would have ended real quick. So. I love when they had the line, though, and he's like smashing people at the line. Yeah. The shield wall is pretty cool. The dead body. The fucking... The mound of dead bodies was awesome. Didn't they say they based that on the Civil War? Did they? I, they, they were, they I've were heard a bunch of different battles mentioned. They, yeah. Between the shield wall and the flame or whatever. Uh, <laughs> what's the name that from season one? The kid. What's his name? Rickon? Rickon. You seen that Why one didn't coming? he zigzag? Did he have any lines? No. I, I think if they, they pay him nothing if he has no lines. That sucks. Like legitimately. Well, why did he zigzag? Zigzag. Oh, oh we know. But, you know, I like how the arrow came out of nowhere. The shot they focused on, missed, yeah. and you're like, he's in the clear. <laughs> Dead. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I feel that John wouldn't have fallen for that. Like, he wouldn't have just rushed in after that. Agreed. A... Especially since they talked about it. Yeah. If they hadn't talked about it for like five minutes before the, ba- the, the night before. And what an asshole move not to tell him about the Knights of the Vale. I uh, mean, he uh, could have changed his entire strategy knowing that they might have come. Agreed. I said that as soon as she told them to not help in episode like fucking four. But show has to be a show. Um, even branding could close out. That means back to the, uh, what the finale. Uh, what's his name? Dario. Dario Najeras. So he's getting left behind. He's not too happy. That was a tough scene. Yeah. I mean, in the way that he's like basically that's the last time we ever see his. Basically, his love. You're not gonna see his character again. Yeah, I don't think so. No, and then and I was expecting him to almost be a dick and betray her. Yeah, he cares too much about her. And I was like, he's a good guy. He took that so well. I love seeing uh, that. It was such an emotional, close scene between Tyrion and her. Yeah, it was. He, a, he got the hand of the queen. Yeah, it's and it, it means a lot to him. It's the first person he's genuinely believed in in his entire life, and you see it on his face that he cares about her. Not like uh, he's not in love with her. He just believes in her. 
Yeah. He might be in love with her, but he genuinely believes in her, and that's huge. That last shot of the whole ships. Yeah. I don't, it gives you fucking chills, man. It that, did. The fucking fleet, all her army, of Dothraki, all came together in that scene. was so badass, and very well backed. That was the funniest part. Yeah. But, man, can you imagine that? The, the fleet landing on Dorne, you know, there's going to be problems. We don't even want to talk about, I think the Crow Eye is going to marry Cersei and give the ships to them half... Half Daenerys' ships are going to be gone by the time she reaches Westeros. Problems, problems everywhere. Because yeah. well, it's not going to be as awesome as we hope. It's next not... season's only supposed to be seven episodes, right? Yeah. And the last year's season's supposed to be six? I would like to think that the next season would be all the conflict until the end of the season where one victor came about. And then the last season's them versus the White Walkers. All together? Yeah. Yeah. I I'd think okay that would that. be like a great game plan. But it, it probably won't. There's going to be new characters and everything and... <laughs> what else happened? It's funny. I don't, so much shit happened in this episode. I wonder if Tyrion should technically be heir to uh, Casterly Rock because Jamie's taken the the white. He's he should hold have no wives and hold no lands because he's the king's guard. Uh huh. And Cersei technically has the throne. So by right, to, well, even Cersei, women don't matter. Should be Tyrion. So I wonder if he gets back, if he can call theoretically or try to. Call upon the Lannister troops to join Daenerys. Yeah. And nobody likes her. It would be Jamie's word against Tyrion. Jamie, you could see Jamie eventually siding with Tyrion over Cersei. Jamie Said next time he saw him he was going to kill him. Yeah. In the book he was more mad. But in the show you would think he's a little less because they split on great, such great terms. Yeah. And you'd have to think Tywin was a piece of shit. Yeah. But they... I think for all intents and purposes Jamie should hate Tyrion He's going to hate Tyrion when he comes back. I completely forgot about the relationship between Arya and Tywin. And now I'm kind of happy that I'm going to go back and watch all these episodes. That was one thing added from the the show, from the book. And that was one of the great... I yeah, mean, that was good. And uh, her relationship with the Hound was great. Oh, that was the best. She's got a lot of good sidekick... Uh, she needs that again. Uh, I don't think she needs anything anymore. Her she, and Brienne or something. That would be okay. But she basically... Brienne, Brienne just left there, too. Yeah. Does... So, uh... <laughs> Jack and Hagar, is that his name? Yeah. So is he just giving her free range? He like, I was kind of no. She pulled off the mask. She didn't do like a magic mask. She pulled off a physical mask. Did she? It looked like I seen skin. It looked like you know I was watching Mission Impossible or something. Uh huh. Whereas when Jack and Agar did it, he just kind of, you know, like uh, it was somebody when she did to his dead body, she would just close her hands and like the face would crumple in uh-huh. the air. I'll so have to rewatch that. She had a mask before when she killed, uh, that Kingsguard guy. She uh-huh. stabbed him. And I think she just uses a physical mask. Like, one of those realistic Tyrion masks that you see. Oh, God, those are creepy. So, I think in the show, that's what she's doing. She has no magical power. Except now she knows how to kill and fight blind, I guess. Yeah. I love that she put that girl's face all bloody and beat up on the... The waif. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh... What else? There's there. The, it, this was such a packed episode... Was that all the characters? Uh, stuff. So Bran had that flashback, and that was his season ending, wasn't it? Yeah. I genuinely thought the High Sparrow was going to have some sort of agenda. He was just... He was technically the morally best person on the show. I mean, yeah, but sp- since, I mean, he was, since uh, Ned. Yeah, he was a religious eli, but he didn't lie about anything. Nope. He, he gave to the poor. He seemed like an asshole, but technically the Lannisters are the biggest assholes. Yeah, he was an asshole to the biggest assholes. Yeah. But he wasn't doing it, it out of spite yeah, or out of anger. The Lannisters kill people that have incest, you know, they lie. And when he comes and tries to put them in their place, it seems like he's the enemy, but he really shouldn't have been. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It, and it did. It seemed like... If, Cersei's going to meet a special kind of death. If the explosion comes back on her, she could have a, a riot. Lot of, yeah. I... She's gonna meet a special kind. Of, her and her. And it's almost at this point that her death has to be the best death in the show because she's killed so many people. She's fucked over so many people. She's plotted and schemed more than anybody in the show. Minus maybe Littlefinger, but Littlefinger hasn't killed nearly as many people as her. Yeah, she acts on impulse rather than logic. A lot of times. Yeah, right there. A little hot. It's hot. I want her to fail so bad. Except that I want to see the mountain fuck people up, and I want to see Kyburn be Kyburn. I like Kyburn. Which one's Kyburn? Her her hand. Oh yeah, he's fine. Yeah, because he's, he's creepy as hell. Yeah, and he's so like he's a thinker, you know, like and he's even he's even polite when he's about to kill Master Grandmaster yeah. Pycelle. Like we don't mean it. We just have to go out with the old and with the new. 
is the hound going to see the mountain at any point? He better. But you almost have to. But in, in what is... So he's going to be with Lord Beric and Lady Melisandre is going to come down. But who are they going to join with? Yeah, exactly. So that's where you think that maybe Lady Stoneheart... Brienne the Beauty. What if they, what if they catch her? That's when Lady Stoneheart was introduced when Brienne got caught by the... Uh, the uh, I never you, read that far. The what you call it without banners. The Brotherhood without banners. Uh-huh. Brienne was kind of caught and Lady Stoneheart judged her that she didn't uphold her oath to save her kid. But man, can you imagine the show if that actually came to be like Lady Stoneheart and the Mountain... Everything. Well, they kind of made it possible since they introduced the zombie basically in, in this season with uh, Benjen, because yeah. he's half dead. He, he's half White Walker. But did you get a good look at the mountain? It was pretty dark. It was view. dark. It didn't even look like the same guy. I I I see. It looked like him to me, but I I wanted to see his face completely fucked up. Yeah, it was pretty jacked up. I hope they torture that lady all season long. That yeah. was awesome. The just gonna smash different parts of her body. Shame, shame. I want, like, I want to make her walk through the city naked, you know. That would have been, I mean, it still can be awesome. Are there, there's other places in the city that have, uh, what is it, wildfire? Is that what it was called? Uh, theoretically, yeah, there are tasks underneath, like, all the important places, yeah. That was such a good plan. I, I thought for a second that, uh, when she was holding Tom and back that, uh, she was gonna kill herself, because I don't know what happens. Really? Yeah, for a second I thought she was going to kill herself instead of go back to trial, but no, she had no. obviously different plans. Yeah. She fucking cleaned house. I thought the queen was going to get out of that. Who's left to really hate? Her, possibly Littlefinger, if he tries to divide the Starks? Yeah, I mean, okay, so, Crow Eye? Crow's Eye? Which one is Crow's Eye? You're on Crow Eye. Oh, yeah. There's not that many. There's so many people that are starting to join together. <sighs> All the villains are being killed off. Yeah. Ramsey's dead. He was it, such a good villain. The White Walker's got to be the biggest villain of the entire. Yeah. Game. How is it that Joffrey and Ramsey were, to the same degree, just horrible, horrible human beings? But there was, you kind of got to like Ramsey. I agree. A lot of people don't. Ramsey was, maybe two or three times as vicious, but he was like five times more honorable and less annoying. Yeah. Joffrey was just. Even though you know he killed his own father, but his father's a piece of shit anyway. Yeah. Uh, he killed his own baby brother. <laughs> yeah. he, is, he is cruel, but at least he fights his own battles. Yeah, he. Josh just was something a he just wasn't annoying. Win. Yeah, that but adds he got to bit it. in the face. Yeah, even in death, he was like kind of unafraid. He like my he, he was. It turned there right at the end when he was like down and they wouldn't listen to him. Yeah, but it wasn't Joffrey. I mean, uh, Joffrey. You feel bad when he kind of died. Joffrey kid and choked. Yeah, yeah. No, I didn't feel bad. It was a weird feeling because you should be feeling like technically, especially in the book, he's a child choking to death, ripping out his throat, you know. Yeah. Uh, but you're like, oh my god, I hated that kid so much. Oh, you... it just means he did a good job. Yeah. Did you see his audi- his little audition tape where he was like, uh, "Wow, it's sunny outside," like as himself, and then he had to do it as like a bad guy. No, I never seen that. It one. was it's it's worth a watch. I seen a lot of audition tapes. Did you see the Cal Drogo one? He's like, Whoa. yeah, I did. <gasps> you, you like going crazy? Yeah, yeah. It was good. I recently seen Natalie Dormer's. Do that her name? Natalie Dormer. I think so. Yeah. She her audition was she was just, uh, it was Renly's tent. Like, do you like me like this or without my shirt? You know, clothes. And that was her audition tape. Yeah, you know, she didn't take off. She just like Pretend moved her bra. To. I was gonna say that's but a little. But she did her sexy face and it's like, oh yeah, you're hired. <laughs> <laughs> you forget that she was naked in yeah. season two. You'll see it again. Yeah, because I'm gonna go back and watch all of them. Uh, there's one person in season finale we forgot about, and it's kind of awesome, kind of weird. Um, Sam. With the books? Yeah. Okay, so skip back a beat. Did you see all the white ravens? Yeah. Maybe? And I knew what that was instantly. When a white raven comes, it means the Red Masters decided, they all got together, the seasons have changed, and they send it to everybody. So when you see all the white ravens leaving the Citadel, I'm like, oh shit. And then it actually came about two Winter's minutes later. Here? Yeah, and winter, you see John smile for the first time. Such a good phrase. Winter has come. Yeah. Like Father, I said it would, and I still think the last, I, I the last page and last sentence in the, the last book when it comes out should be, uh, summer's coming, or spring is coming. Yeah, I think that would be awesome. So I've kind of, the fact that it's kind of like that. Okay, so Citadel, funny conversations between the him and the clerk. Yeah, 
<laughs> it was kind of cute. It was I was going to say secretary. It was a nice tension break for a minute. But what, he, that smile on Sam's face. He's just like, he's so excited to be there. He's like yeah. a little kid. It's the first time you see him really, yeah. really happy. Uh, when you go to the, the library and it zooms out. In the, the what? Sh- the library? Library? What? Go ahead. And it zooms out and the chandeliers are the fucking sun I like that. the intro. Yeah. It's like, it all like comes together like in some deep meaning like, like that the intro is like something that is at the Citadel. Like it's a fold out book or something of the map. You know, like, it's Do like, you think that Sam's going to have something to do with the way that they end up killing the White Walkers? Like he ha- his story arc has to be important otherwise they wouldn't keep it around still. Is it something in those books? Is it, I mean, I, I don't know, but his, his story I is think, the least important out of all of them right now. The Meisters might come into play. There was one, I, I, the last part I read, I think the last part even written with Sam just showing up and explaining the White Walkers are there and then some Meister who actually believes in magic knows, believes that the dragons are back and he's going to go bring Daenerys back to Westeros. But that one Meister believes that it, in actuality, the Meisters 100, 200 years ago were the ones that caused all the dragons to become extinct because they're like scientists and they don't want magic being in this world. Okay. So he's like, we got to, all these Meisters hate magic and you want to, they, if they give anything to not have Daenerys come back. So, there might be some Wouldn't conflict there. The, you can kill White Walkers with fire, right? Can't you burn them? Or you have to burn them before they turn into White Walkers? Uh, I think fire works well against the Whites. The W-R-I-G-H-T. Yeah. Right? Uh, but not against whites. the... Uh, I'm not sure. I've never, I've never read anything about a White Walker being killed. Like a White White Walker. So it's just Dragon Glass. Dragon glass, or you know, what we call obsidian, um, which is very common in Dragonstone. Uh-huh. And in the books, they mention something like the Stannis. We found out sent a ship back to get all the dragon glass out before Dragonstone gets under siege. But because uh, if it's fire, I mean, you dragon fire also. You, you basically well, you basically just fly dragons over and kill all the White Walkers. Season finale. Yeah, because I'm serious, say, serious finale. It's not like they're gonna be able to. I mean, you're gonna have a bunch of zombies shooting bows and. I like to think that. The series finale is the North against the White Walkers, and then all hope is lost. Jon Snow's about to die, and Daenerys comes riding, or he's riding one dragon, and she's riding another. Well, that's you got to. I mean, Who it's safe to assume that at some point they may get married, right? That they may be. It would be suiting because because in a way, the Targaryens aren't, don't they? Because they're related. Yeah, but she, whether or not she is in the show, she should be barren after she lost her child. That's true. Uh, which would mean that. I would rather have John marry somebody else and his child be the new king. Yeah. Uh, but who would be the three dragon riders? If there were three, like, Viserys, or whoever the, the conqueror was, Aegon Targaryen, the conqueror, uh, they had three people, three Targaryens yeah. that rode dragons. But in this case, if it was Daenerys and Jon Snow... Who would be the third? Who would, if Who's the most loyal person? I've heard... I've heard... Uh, you don't want an imp on there. I was going to say, I've, the rumor is it's going to be Tyrion. We need a warrior on that. Uh, no, no offense to Tyrion. Who? Jamie? I don't know. But if you took the all of Westeros, Arya, Brienne, I don't know. I Arya might be okay. The Hound. Who's the most like honorable warrior? Yeah, if they all came together, they all in the same room at the end of the show. The most honorable out of all of them. I mean, it would be cool to have a Jamie Lannister, but it would be weird. I don't know. the The story arc would be cool for the Hound to be a complete turnaround. Yeah. I mean, he's if it he, looked. It seemed like he was trying to go that route to become a new person. Yeah. It's funny. The show... I'm, I am now rereading the th- fourth book. Okay. And the show made me look at the book a different way. There was a part where... Um, was, Brienne was looking for the Hound because they assumed he was part of a raider group that destroyed a village. And she came upon like a group of brothers who took a vow of silence. And he's the one who told her, No, I found the Hound. He was dying. I let him die. I put his helmet on his carn, and somebody took that helmet and destroyed the town, and they think it's a hound. It wasn't. He's dead. I give you my word. But right before that, they, they said, then look, here's his horse in the stable. Like, he was a wild black horse. Uh-huh. But they walked by a couple brothers who were silent, and one was said, a giant brother who was hunched over, obviously lame, uh, who was taller than Brienne, who was digging a grave, and he flung dirt next to her shoe and... The guy said, easy, brother, you may have gotten dirt on this other, uh, Brienne, he basically said, who Brienne was with. You may have got dirt on this person. 
And they said that brother just kind of shrugged and kept on going. He's a, sorry, he's an apprentice. And I'm thinking, that was the fucking hound. Nice. He's he's fucking lame because he was fucking stabbed and wounded and whatever. Uh-huh. And he was an apprentice. They, like, they took him in. And the guy just said he's died to cover his trap. And, like, oh, he's fucking alive in the books, too. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. That's... I like him a lot. He's... You, you don't like him at the beginning, obviously. He is an asshole, but he understands. He's not a lying asshole. He's not a deceiving asshole. Yeah. Uh, in the show, he, he likes killing the kill, but he was scarred as a child. He hates his brother. The only thing that keeps him going is him wanting to, to get revenge on his brother, kill his brother almost. God, I hope that happens. And he, he he's disillusioned with knights because his brother was a knight and he fucking burned his face. Yeah. So, like, I don't want to be a fucking knight. How... Yeah. Obviously, somebody like Oberyn Martell fought very well against the uh the mountain until they got arrogant yeah the mountain and the hound are almost the same kind of fighters they're just powerhouses i mean yeah. how is he gonna be if they you know uh, that, hypothetically it's funny it, i mean jamie's afraid of that nobody could take the hound the hound is fucking big and quick as shit is so, it, so that's his thing is he big and he's fast as, so the, somebody said that about the mountain and uh, he fucking acts Brian like said face that. off yeah it was awesome. I can't... Now that I'm going to rewatch this, I can't wait to see Bronn fight that knight again when he fights for Tyrion. Sir Vardis Egan, the old... Well, he was an older knight, and he was the hand's right-hand man. The hand, hand that died in the beginning. Uh-huh. And the fact that he killed him, Tyrion, both when he get back to King's Landing. Bronn, he killed Sir Vardis Egan in single combat. It's like, oh, shit. Yeah. So, yeah, it was kind of cool. That was a good scene. Yeah. Okay. So, anything else to add? Best season finale of the show. Best season finale, maybe best episode. Agreed. I, it's hard to put like battles episodes behind that because battles are so fucking badass. But this was fucking badass. Yeah, it was. The music. It was epic. The, the music, music at the three different times, yeah. like fucking killed it. What were you gonna say? What do you got? We're gonna play a little game. Okay. How much time we got? We like fifteen minutes. We're gonna keep it about an hour today. Now I wish there were more people playing. We're gonna play. Who's been in more episodes? Oh God. Okay. So, it's just going to be you trying to guess. So I'll try to lump some of the big ones together. So, out of the Lannisters, who's been more episodes? Tyrion, Cersei, or Jamie? Cersei. Cersei Lannister has been in 52 episodes. Okay. We're gonna s- Hopefully, this is updated as of right now. I'm on IMDb. Don't know if it it's should include- count this season. I would like to think. It says up until 2016, so yeah. Well, if there's 60 episodes, she was in 52 of them. That's about right. That's, uh, that sounds right. Uh... T- Tyrion was in 54. Really? Yeah. And Jamie is I down I at 43. I would have said Jamie was the least. Yeah. Okay, now let's group a couple others together. Let's do some of the girls. Okay. We have Ira, Sansa, and Daenerys. Daenerys. At number one? Yeah. I'll pick a two just while we're at it. Uh, man, Arya number two, Sansa number three. Okay, so it goes Daenerys 49, Sansa 47, Ira 47. So it was... Ty. I should have looked at it before I said Yeah. <laughs> but... Dick. They had the exact same. It's funny. Okay. So let's do some others close together. Uh, let's do some sneaky bastards. Varys? Littlefinger? Or Bronn? Uh, Varys? Uh, Littlefinger, then Bronn. Exactly. 35, 34, 31. Oh, and those are close, too. Yeah. Okay. Well, Bronn missed the whole first quarter, third three quarters of the season. Yeah. It's funny. He's been as many as he was. Ooh. Okay. I should have done Grandmaster Pycelle instead, but we'll skip, save him for a little later. So, we got Theon Greyjoy, Samuel Tarly, and Brienne Tarth. Sam... Brienne and who else? Grandmaster. Theon Greyjoy. Uh, Theon Greyjoy. Uh, Theon was in season one. Sam wasn't. He was. Sam was in season one? Yeah. He was in New Recruit of the Wall, like episode four. Oh, five. yeah. It's crazy to think he's been around for as long as he has. Yeah. Um, Brienne of Tarth was season two. Brienne. She's been in, I feel like she's been in a lot more than she, Sam. She has had a lot. I'm going to say Brienne... Then, I know I'm forgetting the Theon story arc. Brienne, Sam, and then Theon. Uh, the opposite. Theon had 39 episodes. Really? In torture. He probably had every episode being tortured yeah, that one season. Yeah, that's... It's... Sam was in 38, one less. Because this season, he was only like three. Yeah. Yeah. But I think it was with Theon. 
Uh, Briotar 32. Okay. I mean, they're all still in 30 episodes. I mean, it stays in different order, so it doesn't get fucked up. You gotta go towards the bottom and do, like, Caldrogo. Oh, it, it wouldn't get down there. I mean, there's not that many. We, you, you don't run out, we don't run out of names you recognize soon. Okay. These ones are close together. I'll say it's in random order. Bran. Davos. Grandmaster Pycelle. Pycelle's the and, most. And you remember Bran was... Out for a season. Yeah. I'm gonna uh, say, Davos into season two and Pycelle the whole time. I'm going to say Pycelle's number one. Is that right? You want me to say yes? Yeah. It is. Okay. Pycelle's number one. Okay, then number two. But that guy did everything. Yeah. He's an Indiana Jones fan. He was the voice of Aragog in I, Harry I, Potter. I read that recently, too. Yeah. And then he was in some other... If not Indiana Jones, it was... was it? Star Wars? Star Wars, yeah, yeah. He was one of the admirals. He was yeah. the guy doing the AT-AT. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh god! So the next one is, I'm gonna say Davos. Davos is at 29. Brand's at 30. Oh my god! By one. Pycelle 31. Okay. So even though Brand took, I think, 30. So how many? So he didn't get a lot. Of, he's half. Yeah. He had 10 episodes off, so he's 30 for 50. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> a little weird. I'm going to jump around a little bit. So, we're going to have... I don't know. It's kind of weird. <laughs> Tywin Lannister, Marjorie Tyrell, or Sandor Clegane? Marjorie is first. Uh, then Clegane, then Tywin. Not quite. The last two are flipped, huh? Marjorie's still number one? Nope. Really? Uh, Sandra Clegane, 29 okay. episodes. Tywin Lannister, 27. Okay. He was in, it was in season one. Natalie was not. Natalie Dormer. 26 for That's Marjorie it? Marjorie Tyrell. Yeah. She had a big presence for only being in 26 episodes then. She was, the season two she was in, she was in three episodes, I think. Okay. So she really came into her own after she got to King's Landing. So she had like season three, four, five, six, maybe. Uh, let's do Melisande, Melisandra, and Catelyn Stark. Um, shit. Now Melisande came about for season three. three. Like Melisandra. Two. Two. Caitlin off at three. Um, Melisandra's one. Um. Melisande is two and Caitlin Stark's three. Caitlin is three, but oh sorry, Missande, how do you pronounce it? It's twenty nine. Melisandre twenty six. Okay. Uh, Caitlin Stark twenty five. All right. So then we're gonna get to. <laughs> Let's just do, uh, Stannis, Hodor, Joffrey. Um, man, so you gotta figure Hodor wasn't an entire season as well. Yeah, he skipped a season. Skipped a season. Joffrey Stannis and... Stannis was started Stannis. on season two. And Joffrey is often season four, I think. Um, I want to say Joffrey, Stannis, and then Hordor. Correct. Nice. Uh, Joffrey in 26. Stannis in 24. Hodor in 23. Yes, my lord. <laughs> okay, let's do uh, some people at the wall. Uh, you have Dolores Ed, Gren, and Gilly. Who are the first two? Dolores Ed is the guy who John Stark left in charge of the okay. wall. Gren was his best friend guy the who died, died in the defending the wall. Okay. Gilly is Sam's girl. Oh my god. Uh, the guy that died is in the least. What's his name again? Gren. Gren. Gren's the least. So he's three. Gilly's two, and his buddy's number one. I'm uh, in backwards order this time. You got number one, right? Okay. Uh, he was in 29, Dolores Ed, and then Gren's 22, Okay. Gilly 21. I was off by one. Because Gren was in season one as well. Yeah. And Gilly came about to season two, I think, when they went about around ranging. All right. In okay. that fucked up place where that... What was their other guy that betrayed him with the knives? Yeah, I mean, there was, I think, on the 
they call him Pig something or that guy was oh, every... he, he was calling Sam a piggy. That guy was everywhere for a minute because he was in turn, he oh, was in that, yeah. he was in something else. I think the guy got killed by what's his name, Die Wolf, but it was yeah. Here yeah, they called him something something something. Okay, it has to be something. He something. was a villain of a, a, a one. You remember like fucking uh, the Bolton's like hunter guy, the one who took off uh, Jamie Lancer's hand. Yeah, he thought he was gonna be like a main villain. He's like crazy, but he fucking got his neck snapped by Hodor in like a second. Yeah. <laughs> so badass. Yeah, we got that shit. That happened. You long. forget a lot of stuff. I mean, because it's the shows. Not that it's been on that long. I mean, there's only sixty episodes, but there some of the episodes are so in depth that you might forget. Well, you definitely forget stuff here and there. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna do. How do I link some of these together? We're just gonna pick up random. So you have uh, Ramsey Bolton, Bruce Bolton. Loras Tyrell. Um, Tyrell's been, or uh, Loras has been around since season one, huh? He has. He was the Night of the Flowers. He was doing that gay scene back in season one. That made you, us all uncomfortable. What made us all uncomfortable? Slurping sounds after you shaved Renly. Yeah, I don't care about that. It doesn't bother me. <laughs> it does a little, as, as bad as the cum on the face. That was, that was, that was, that was a little strange. Yeah. But I don't care about the, the unflopping dick. I remember stuff. this is all like <laughs> early season gay and well, if they, oddly if, sexual. If they show, if they show tits and ass, they gotta show dick. I mean, it's only fair. This is, it's only fair, I guess. Well, I mean, I, I'm obviously more appreciative of the I don't know. TNA. You like everything. But you just gotta be fair. You gotta show something for everybody if you're gonna show. <laughs> um, Loris is one. Uh, Correct. Who are the other two? Ramsey and Roos. Boltons. Roos just died, and I have a feeling that he came about before. I'm gonna say Roos is second, and Ramsey is. I think is... they showed Roos in season three, but Ramsey started in season four, so that helped. So Roos is two, Ramsey's three. Uh, Ramsey has. 20 episodes Roos has 19 damn Ramsey close. had like one episode every time he's torturing yeah Leon, yeah and Roos was gone and he was it. around a couple more episodes this season obviously yeah so there is that um we're gonna pick some odd ducks let's do Egret Shay and Dario Harris. three people who like to do it okay but you have to add did you have to add a couple episodes on for him because the other guy played him? You know, I'm looking at just the one actor. Okay. Do you want to just count the character? In which case, I think he was two episodes more. We'll just add the two. We'll add two episodes onto it. Fair okay. enough. Okay. So it's Shay Egret. Is that her name? Yeah. And Shay's third. You want Shay to be number three? Yeah. Who's number one? I haven't decided yet. Oh. Um, Dario's one Egret's two uh, with the two added Dario and Shay will be tied for 20 episodes okay she was about since season one Egret was what 17 oh wow yeah she got killed off pretty she lasted two three and she died at the end of four yeah okay let's do two more <laughs> and then get out of this fucking sweat box let's pick some Now we get down to all these people who've been killed. <laughs> so many that we killed off. It's crazy. We'll do like Oberyn, uh, Ned, and then one other person that's been killed in a different uh, season. We're gonna do a weird one. Let's do. Cause oh, man. they're the exact same. Cause Sean Bean's gonna be ten episodes. Unless you count flashbacks, or do they count flashbacks? You think? I. Or like dreams, or. I'm not sure, and I won't say yet. So, fuck. I can't say him either. Okay. Uh, <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Okay, so, Robert Baratheon, Renly Baratheon, and Art Stark. Um, I'm going to say Renly's number one. He was in multiple seasons, wasn't he? He got killed off midway through two. Renly, uh, Ned Stark, Robert Baratheon. Eddard Stark is in 11 episodes. Okay. Don't know how, but he was. He's still off in episode 9, though. 
So so not only was he... Was his voice or face used in two episodes somewhere? Wasn't there one where they went back and he's teaching them how to shoot or something? No, those are, those are that was Rob and John. Just teaching Bran how to shoot. I think that's what it was. Yeah, that was a, a dream or something. Yeah. Uh, and then... Who did I say? Renly was an eight. Really? Yeah, he wasn't all around. All in. And then Rob Baratheon was in seven. Okay, this... We'll do we'll the last one. I got a good one there. Hmm. Got one good one. Hmm. This silence is making it where I'm going to need to make a cut. I wasn't even going to do any editing to this whole episode until now. Sorry, you have to cut this. So I'm going to pick Oberyn Martell. Okay. I'm just trying to find some... Cal Drogo. Okay, Oberyn Martell, Cal Drogo. This would be the badasses. And I can do the Blackfish. The Blackfish is the least. There's no way he could be the most. I'm going to say, oh, fucking Oberyn was only in one season and so was Khal Drogo. I'm going to say Khal Drogo's one, Oberyn's two, Blackfish is three. Even though Blackfish lasted over multiple seasons. You're basically right. I, I picked at random, but the Blackfish and Oberyn had the same amount, seven. Really? Yeah, and Khal Drogo was in all ten. Oberyn oh, Martell season. was one of the best characters to ever be on the show. The Probably the shortest lived, most awesome character. Yeah. Because he stole like, so, all the scenes from all the characters. Yeah. He did. Yeah. And not many people steal a scene from Tyrion. There's so many characters that died that I've forgotten about. <laughs> Where's the fuck is Gendry? He had, he's tied with Jack and Hadar at 17. Okay. And Gendry hasn't showed back up. There was Ollie. He had 17. Okay. Dead. Maren Tran had 17. Dead. The Queen of Thorns had 17. Asha had 16. Lancelot had 16. Jano Slynn had 15. Master Lewin, 14. Kyburn's at 14. Uh, the redhead whore had 14 before she got killed. <laughs> Rickon had 14. Um, Roderick Castle, 13. Mace Tyrell, 13. Mira Reed, 13. Pip, 13. High Sparrow, 12. Jorah Mormont, 12. Oh, yeah. Where's Jorah going to be next season? <laughs> Fucking wandering the wasteland. Is he just gone for the rest of the series? Unless he shows up the last minute, but... Was it, it was it going to, he should go find a cure for yourself. In the meantime, I'm going back to Westeros. Yeah. Peace out. If he reunited with his, his niece, though, that would be pretty tight. Yeah. Would That'd he be, be welcomed back, though? She seems like by the book. She's like, okay, you're, well, unless he gets pardoned, technically, he can't be lord. But if he gets pardoned, then he can. He, yeah. He's rightful lord. So, and to end it out, what would you give the final episode? Oh, 10. 10 out of 10? Yeah. 10 out of 10. Yeah, 10, 10. I can't Most of the late. season finales, the last season finale that I fucking flipped at, that I thought was a 10 out of 10, at least when the White Walkers came at the end of season yeah. 2. Yeah. Fucking flipped a lid at that. Daenerys in a crowd of people was only okay. Like, I'm talking about like the last shots. Yeah. Come out the last shot of season one. I don't remember. Jon Snow being dead on the ground. That was last season. Oh, that was fucking rough. Yeah. I was, I was more pissed than yeah. excited. Katrina was oh, fucking uh, mad. You know what this was? You remember when Ira sailed across the narrow sea and played this awesome score uh -huh. at the end of season four? That was probably my second favorite, like, last shot. Uh huh. This one's my new favorite. Yeah, it's... It's telling the opposite way. Yeah. Yeah. In force. But uh, we're going to get into this hot box. It is 100 degrees in here. Yeah. So uh, that's another episode. Hope you liked Corey and I just... Game of thrones it. Lovingly talking about... We can only do two more of these. Game of Thrones. Season finales. Yeah, that's sad. <laughs> we'll have to talk about a new show. Well, when Walking Dead comes on, back on, we're going to talk about it. It's no Game of Thrones. Yeah, I will admit that it's no Game of Thrones, but it's culturally relevant and it's a good show it's probably watch more right yeah yeah and watch outcast so that's another episode of 95 nerds with uh cory and robert this time no sidekick brian sucks anthony sucks travis sucks yeah this is a great ending nobody would come it's uh, the best ending to any of our shows yet yeah follow uh <laughs> make sure you retweet everything i say so we can get more uh people listening uh Subscribe to the show, tell your friends about the show, and follow me at Sly Comics, and we will talk to you guys next week. Adios. Bye.